Hi Fox. I can't remember the date now, but earlier this month, I went to see Harry Styles in concert. Yes, I did. What do you mean you don't know who Harry Styles is? Jeez Louise. So Harry Styles is one of the uh, members of a group called One Direction, who um, ceased to be One Direction a few years ago and burst out on their own. Um, One Direction has come to New Zealand before. Uh, I, I was not really aware of them when they came last time. Uh, this time I was aware of who Harry Styles was. I bought two tickets as soon as they went on sale. Um months ago and didn't really think of it. I bought two tickets because I thought it would be funny and I bought two tickets because I knew that my granddaughters would just die to think their grandmother was going and wasting her time at a Harry Styles concert when they could be there you know because they're big fans especially the younger two and um but in between buying the ticket and going to the the venue to watch Harry Styles sing I actually bought his CD as well, and it's actually okay. In fact, some of the tracks are really good, and one in particular is fantastic, that I really like it. So um, Amy and I went to the to see Harry Styles at Victor Arena, and it was very good. It was very full. It was a sold-out gig. It was apparently his largest uh, venue concert to date. He's been playing, um, touring, and doing sort of small venues, but um, they sold so many tickets or had the potential to sell so many tickets, they opened up um, the venue to more than around about 10,500 people were at the concert. Mostly girls, mostly girls. Some um, camped out the night before so that they could get front of the line. I'm not, I wasn't actually quite sure why they were getting front of the line. Um, I guess to get to the front of the general admission area. I suppose that really, really is, is why they were doing it. Anyway, not my job to figure out why girls do things they do. Well... You sang them all. And if you didn't sing on to that one, I... Really hope to see you next time. I noticed about Harry Styles a couple of things I noticed about Harry Styles concert that were, were, were interesting well one really or two okay two things I noticed about the Harry Styles concert that were interesting but that only count as one interesting thing got it first thing is the fans are such fans huge fans the fans of Harry Styles are True Blue fans. And I don't think there's anything better than being around True Blue fans. I got hair, hair in my mouth. There was no shoving. There was no pushing. There was no fainting. There was no car, you know, pulling girls who were being crushed down the front out and being taken away to hospital. There was none of that. Sure, there were heaps of people down in front of the stage. Sure, they were all screaming and calling out for Harry. But they were all generous and kind and sweet to each other, really. 
It was such a great concert. Everyone was really lovely. <laughs> was that he engaged with them heaps too so they were pretty happy it's one girl got a um, happy birthday sung to her so wow she was pretty lucky the other thing about the Harry Styles concert was how good he was that boy can sing that boy can sing his old songs in different ways too so it was really good and I was super glad that I went if I had grandchildren, would I know anything about One Direction and Harry Styles? Absolutely not. I would not. But when you have children in your life, as you know, they open you up to things that you would never have been exposed to before. And my granddaughters introduced me to all sorts of music that I, A, wouldn't be able to access and B, wouldn't like. And C, still don't like in some instances, but... I'm so hot. I'm glowing like a pig. Glowing like a pig. Part of the reason the girls were all nice to each other, by the way, is Harry's tagline on all his merch is be kind to each other. It's this thing. So they do. They're kind to each other. What a fabulous, fabulous thing to teach people. I'm so hot, I can't believe how hot I am. I was just perfectly fine until I turned this camera on and then I'm just like glowing. I am also, oh my gosh, I'm in such a crafting state of mind at the moment. I can't even, I can't even. The whole weekend, I spent the whole weekend trying to figure out how to make stickers. This is me figuring out how to make stickers. This is where the stickers are, this is where the stickers are. This is just me trying to figure it out. You might think that it's easy, but took me a long time to figure it out. I have this burning desire to make stickers. Why? I don't know. I want to do craft. I want to stamp and make cards. Why? I don't know. Well, actually I do. It happened after um, I did the Inktober challenge and then my sister was up here uh, for a market. She does, she's a professional crafter. She sells her craft and uh, makes money from it. So she's allowed to buy all sorts of things because she can pay for it with her craft money. Me, not so much. Anyway, she looked at the Inktober drawings that I did and she enjoyed them a great deal and she felt that they could be cards. And I thought, oh, whatever. And then she said, you should be making cards and they should be cards like that people don't really have cards for. Not like happy birthday and deep sympathy and stuff like that. But congratulations on your new fur baby or... I'm sorry to hear your fur baby died or okay that's it I've just got two but it just went in my head and ever since then I've just been on a massive craft bent and then see I hesitated there and the reason I hesitated there is because I haven't made anything yet I'm just like the ideas are like bubbling away in here and I'm watching YouTube videos a bit like but like um, I'm not actually doing I'm like feeding my brain or something or I'm going, sh I'm going to craft shops and all I want to do is buy everything and I have to will myself out of the store and I haven't actually made anything yet. But like even now I can just, tonight when I, I got home and I thought, oh, I've got lots of time. Why have I got so much time? Oh, I'll just cop on and watch some YouTube and I'll just go and, all my crap's over here, so that's why I keep looking over here. I'll just, you know, um, maybe make some more, some more practice stickers or so. And I thought, oh, that's right, I'm supposed to be talking to Fox. That's why I've got heaps of time. Because I'm supposed to be doing something else. So, um, yeah, and planning. You know, not, not planning, but planners. St that's like ignited again in my head. And I don't even know how it's... It's just like confetti in the air, all these thoughts and ideas, and I can't pull them together, but I can't think about anything else either. 
I'm just going to absolutely fritter away all my holidays here. Just doing the stuff that I did during this last weekend, frittering away my entire weekend watching YouTube videos. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Is this what a midlife crisis feels like? And I thought I've already had one. I thought I'd already passed that. I had a question. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't have a question. I made a list of sort of video memes that sort of float around here at YouTube. And um, I just wondered if we would do any next year. And I don't know. We don't have to make a decision now. But um, I came. I found like a bunch of them, uh, which include uh, Vlog Every Day in April or August, Vader. That would be, probably be a stretch. Vlogmas, which is what made me think of this. That's on right now. People are videoing every day until Christmas. Um, of course, you've probably seen the Get Ready With Me videos or the Clean With Me videos. We should totes do that. We should also do a plan with me or a draw with me or a doodle with me where we could like do it together or we could work that out. There's a vlog every day in February, which is VEDIF. I don't like that word, but and vlog every second day in January. I suppose that's when you're on holiday. There's October, of course, in October. And a desk tour that we could do any time. But those are just a few that I found that were easy to find. I'm sure there's heaps more. But um, but maybe next year we could think of doing a collaboration on something like that. Maybe. Give our wonderful viewers something interesting to look at. So um, just talking about that and the fact that it's Christmas like in like five minutes time, it's nearly just around the corner. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep going? Do you want to keep going like, like we're going or do you want to take a break? Um, I'm totally easy either way because I have no, I'm not going away on holiday so my life my life is just going to continue. It's going to be easy for me. But I know that your life is not the same as my life. And you have more uh, little people in your life. And you might appreciate a break. So let me know. Have a think. And let me know what you want to do for the Christmas break. If you'd like to take a break. Or if you'd like to carry on. If you'd like to increase production. Because, you know, have got more time. I don't know. Uh, let's um, figure out what we're going to do for Christmas. So again, we can show our fabulous viewers what we're doing. Um, uh, 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 that's really all I've got for you today. It wasn't much, I'm afraid. But um, I did want to tell you, where, I don't know where this came from, I did want to tell you about the red pencils and drawing with red pencils. Um, quite often it's, it's, it is red pencils or blue pencils. Yep, just play with your hammer shout. It's, it's not rude at all. It's not rude at all. Ouch. Red, oh God. Red pencils or blue pencils for the reason that you said, where you can pick that colour and not have it come up in a scan. That um, you, That's one reason why people use them. Um, I worked in February this year with a, an animator. Uh, we worked on a little project where I sketched drew a conference and all the speakers and he did drawings of all the speakers to make a comic out of it and he does did and does all his drawings with a blue pencil and I asked him about it at the time he didn't mention the scanning thing funnily enough but what he said was he liked it because there was a, a waxy feel to the lead that graphite pencil doesn't have uh, also it didn't smudge as much as a graphite would smudge especially because he's like you know um, drawing drawings on the go and he just liked it that was the major thing he just liked it and I have found when I have drawn in either of those colors I tend to be a little more a little easier on myself about what I've drawn just I, I look upon my finished work or work in progress uh, with a little more kindness Maybe I just think it looks more like someone else's work because it's in a different colour. But I do enjoy it. It does have that waxy feel, which is really nice. Um, that's the only response I have for you today. Because I'm not organised. Because I spent all weekend on YouTube looking at planner videos and how to make stickers and all that kind of thing.
What am I going to do? What am I going to do with my life? Ah, this week's absolutely awesome. Can't wait. Bart and Kelly arrive on Thursday morning and they go the following Monday. So um, that's going to be sweet having them come to visit. Um, I'm not even sure what they want to do, but they can do anything they want, which is great. I'm looking at my long and lay up my craft table. It's not even a craft table. That is not even a craft table. That is a table that came upstairs two years ago from the garage because I said, why is that, ga why is that table in the garage? That table needs to be sold. Bring it upstairs and I'll sell it. And it's still there because I suck. And now would be a really good time to put that on trademe.co.nz too. Because I'm sure there are people out there who need tables. And it's a perfectly good table. <sighs> okay, I'm going. I may not even uh, talk anymore. <laughs>